this video, you will see how to create a terrain from a point cloud inside the 3D Experience platform using the Civil Engineer role and the Terrain Preparation app. From a point cloud we imported in the platform, see the previous tutorial for more information on that topic, we will generate a terrain by meshing it using the Create Terrain command. You have two different types of measure, 3D and 2D. The 3D measure is used when you have undercuts, meaning several points with the same northing and easting values, but with different elevations, such as in a mining project or a cave on your terrain. The 2D measure is used for Z-acquisition data, survey from an aircraft, drone or satellite, and is very fast. This is the one we will use for this LiDAR that we will select as input. A default neighborhood has been defined. This is the maximum length of a triangle. Thus, we can define through this parameter if we want to fill or not an hollow area. I will now hide the point cloud, keep only the colored mesh, and check its quality using the terrain preparation command. In this case, the mesh is OK, but this is where you could automatically clean and improve your mesh. Now, we will create some contour map on the terrain. From this panel, you can define major and minor plane step for the contour lines. Those planes can be displayed if necessary. You can click on Apply at any time to visualize the contour map in 3D. You can also manage the accuracy of the contour smoothing and define the minimum length a contour line should have. Labels can be managed using the Lines tab to define fonts, sizes, and colors of the lines. Finally, you can also display points on the terrain. Other functionalities such as the Color by Height command can be useful to better visualize the elevation of the terrain while working, for example, on an alignment. Contour Map is a feature that can be hidden. And the colors can also be deactivated in the properties from the contextual menu of the terrain, where you can also change the way you display the mesh. 